Hi, my name is Kurt Karadal Meyer. <clears throat> Thank you all for coming tonight. So many people to torment with my voice. I am here tonight to share my journey since having a stroke. This is a picture of my family. We live in Guess Gibson's. This is my wife, my soul, and my daughter, Carpre, and my son, Zephyr. <clears throat> uh, <clears throat> I worked, worked as a tree faller up until I had a stroke last January. My stroke came out of nowhere. I had no risk factors that would make it more likely for me to have a stroke. Aside from a common hole uh, inside my heart. This is called a PFO. The good doctor that is here tonight repaired the hole so I don't have to worry about it anymore. Thank you, Dr. Wood. The PFO allowed a blood clot to travel from somewhere else in my body to my heart, up my left middle, sorry, blur, so sorry, blur, sorry, pearl, after E to my brain, where it got stuck in vessels too small to pass through. <clears throat> Cutting off my blast blood supply to a part of my brain. <clears throat> this is a stroke in simple terms. When a blood vessel is blocked, blocked, or breaks in part of your brain doesn't, doesn't get blood. It, if, if it happens for too long, you are left with a permanently dead region of re, your brain. This is my brain. In my brain, the part that was killed was responsible for controlling the planning of the muscle movement for speech. This is called a proxy of speech. Strokes result in communication disorders in one third of patients. There are many different types and it is common to have more than one. I have a little bit of expressive aphasia. This makes it hard for me to put into words what I want to see, but I un understand speech and writing well. Also, there is my proxy of, of speech. Here's a video of what I sounded like seven weeks after my stroke.
E, e, a, e. Istan for break fetch again. Istan for break fast break break It's time for breakfast. <laughs> a proxy of speech makes it hard to control my mouth to say the sounds I want to say. Speech is supposed to be near effortless, but I have to try hard to get the sounds right. When we meet a person that is difficulty talking or writing or writing or understanding speech, it is coming to assume that your, their whole brain must be impaired. But the different parts of the brain do different things and it might be the only thing they have a problem with. There's a lot of good tips out there on talking with someone like me, but I will sum it up here from my own experiences. Speak as loud and as slow as you can. Don't do that. <laughs> Here's the real advice. Uh, be polite. Be natural. Be a good listener, and most of all, be patient. Until I had a stroke, I never considered how much background work there is behind speech. Do you think what you want to say, and your subconscious brain does the rest some people skip the thinking part. <laughs> Big <clears throat> people speak at 120 words per minute, and <clears throat> your brain has to control 100 muscles down to the millisecond. And most People don't make many mistakes. The speed and accuracy that this requires is remarkable. The easy conversation is one of the simple pleasures in life that I find difficult. How brain injuries affect you is hard to define. My thinking is mostly the same, but I have difficulty focusing and am easily distracted. 
language is everywhere in our thinking, and I have problems be because of this that are not easy to describe. When I am concentrating on, a, on another thing, my speech is made much worse. My stroke has <laughs> my stroke has been so stressful but for me and my family. It is very frustrating to not be able to speak well for myself and other people too. It's fortunate that I have such good support from my family and friends. With, without all the support I had, I would have fared much worse. My journey through the health care system has been overwhelmingly positive. From the paramedics who brought me to the Shishot Hospital, to the speech therapy that has just ended now, and everyone in between, I thank you all for your kindness and your skills and talents. I don't know what the future holds for me. As I learn to speak, speak better and better cope with my deficits, a lot of stroke patients struggle with their personal identity. I'm Am I a different person because I am missing a part of my brain? I don't feel any different. Some people treat me like a different person and this is not helpful. I am less, a, I am less able in some ways um, and more in others. I will start a new career, one that is more suited for me now. I try, try to look at this thought like a problem to find a solution for and as get Jack what sins problems in hand are letter that at Heart. It's true, I've got many reasons to be motivated, but as this experience has taught me, not a lot of time, so I need to put the work in to make my brain all it can be. Thank you all for listening to my story.